what NASA just detected in space will shock the whole industry. Orion is a well-known and extensively researched constellation in the Milky Way. The constellation contains some of the sky's largest sized and brightest stars, including famed red star Betelgeuse and a healthy nursery of blazing young stars that are perfect for study and only a few hundred light years away from Earth. Large amounts of dust make observing nebulas with visible light observatories, such as Hubble Space Telescope, impossible. Thanks to the cutting-edge new James Webb Space Telescope, researchers now have access to the best and most precise images of Orion that have ever been captured. The Orion Nebula is found in the constellation Orion and reflects the setting in which our solar system evolved 4.5 billion years ago. The images were released in a statement in September 2022, focusing on Orion's gaseous sword, which hangs slightly to the south of his famed triple star belt. In the heart of the sword is the Orion Nebula, one of the largest and brightest star-forming areas near Earth. The Orion Nebula, often known as M42, is a stellar nursery where newborn stars are born. It is the closest location of its kind in space to us, and it may be where the Sun, our star, formed 4.5 billion years ago. Astronomers have been long interested in the Orion Nebula, which can be seen with the naked human eye from Earth. More than 400 years ago, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei identified the nebula's largest star cluster, the trapezium. This trapezium is a cluster of young, massive, and burning hot stars. The Orion bar is steadily melting due to the hot, ionized environment created by this cluster's ultraviolet radiation. The nebula's core can be seen in unparalleled detail in the most recent James Webb Space Telescope images, which show evolving sculptures of star-forming gas being molded into shape by powerful stellar radiation. According to Agence France Press, an international group of astronomers from the photo disassociation regions for all early science release team worked together to create the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope captures infrared light, allowing scientists to see through dust clouds. Astronomers have been unable to analyze the star-forming regions, such as the center of the Orion Nebula, due to the shrouding stardust. The nebula itself is around 1,350 light-years away from Earth, surrounded by gas clouds that are lighted and bombarded by hundreds of newborn stars. The Hubble Space Telescope investigated Orion in the 1990s, and there are several similarities between what the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes reveal. The James Webb Space Telescope is sensitive to infrared light wavelengths and offers unique and complementary perspective. Because the core of the stellar nurseries, like the Orion Nebula, is shrouded in stardust, it is impossible to explore what is happening inside them in visible light with telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope. Dust that appears in silhouette or is only visible through reflected light in Hubble's vision, for example, glows warmly when viewed by the James Webb Space Telescope. The difference can reveal previously unseen details about the nebula's tumultuous environment. Since Dutch astronomer Christian Huygens first observed and painted the nebula in 1659, similar advancements in understanding have accompanied every advance in observation. According to a press statement from the University of Michigan, Edwin Bergen, the college's chair of astronomy, and other researchers used the images to understand the whole cycle of star creation. This cycle may be seen in this image as the first generation of stars is effectively irradiating the material for the second generation. The incredible structures we find demonstrate how the feedback cycle of stellar birth works from both within and outside our galaxy, Bergen stated. The images are a composite of several filters depicting emissions from ionized gas, hydrocarbons, molecular gas, dust, and scattered starlight. Els Peters, an astronomy professor at Western University in Ontario, Canada, stated in a statement that giant young stars emit vast quantities of ultraviolet radiation directly into the cloud that surrounds them changing the physical form as well as the chemical composition of the cloud. Because of this new information, we can better understand how massive stars alter the gas and dust clouds in which they form. As shown in newly released photos, the nebula contains lots of fascinating structures that are scaled to the size of the solar system. 1. A newborn star in its cocoon. The star is surrounded by disks of gas and dust rings that form planets. The powerful radiation field of the trapezium's nearby stars has encased these disks in a cocoon of gas and dust, causing them to disperse or photoevaporate. There are around 180 of these externally lit photoevaporating disks, also known as proplins, in the Orion Nebula, with HST-10 being one of the largest. 2. Filaments In the image, there are multiple filaments of various diameters and shapes. 
It also exposes thin, meandering filaments high in molecular hydrogen and hydrocarbon molecules. These filaments are believed to be caused by the nebula's gas flowing unpredictably. 3. Theta 2 Orionis Star, also known as O2 Orionis A. This is the brightest star visible in Orion Nebula and is just brilliant enough to be seen with the naked eye from a dark spot on Earth. It is a multi-star system and the dust in its path is illuminated by its light. Its well-known neighbor, the Trapezium Cluster, also known as One Orionis, is only a few arc minutes away. 4. Infant Star and Globule When thick gas and dust clouds experience gravitational instability, they collapse into stellar embryos that grow in mass until they can begin nuclear fusion in their cores and begin to shine. This young star remains wrapped in its birth cloud. In the center of the image, the bright star Omicron 2 Orionis A, which is approximately 186 light years from Earth, can be seen glowing. The long brownish strip of gas behind the center star provides the best view of the intense interactions between stars and their parent cloud. The powerful stellar radiation of the Orion's nebula's hottest, brightest stars is actively pushing and disintegrating this dense wall of gas known as the Orion Bar. The Orion Bar protects the molecules and dust that are present in it, yet the stellar energy from the stars is sculpting a region rich in filaments, globules, and young stars. The bar is a vital structure component because the denser material protects the cold and complex molecules such as hydrocarbons and microscopic stardust in the nebula. These molecules are the precursors to future planets. The nebula allows astronomers to investigate how interstellar material takes shape and evolves in a high radiation environment. Because of its proximity, the nebula also functions as a kind of Rosetta Stone. Astronomers can understand what is happening in distant star-forming regions of our galaxy and beyond, and at smaller scales when applied to the birth of individual stars. The Orion Nebula can be seen in the sky if you go up an hour before sunrise and look eastward. It lies in the constellation of Orion, the Hunter. The three stars of Orion's belt, Alnitak, Alnilim, and Mintaka, located between the reddish star Betelgeuse and the blue star Regal, appear to be in a fuzzy zone of diffused light. The Orion Nebula can be seen with the naked eye, but it is best to view it with binoculars or a small telescope. The ongoing discovery of new cosmic mysteries with the James Webb Space Telescope is fascinating since it only highlights how little we understand about the massive universe surrounding us. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. What do you think about the James Webb Telescope's recent discoveries? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.